Hey guys, it's Beer Taster America, and guys, this is a pencil choya. Pencil choya is a type of cactus. It grows in the desert here. It's not that common compared to a lot of other cacti, but you see them around. They're long and skinny, whereas most cacti are, you know, they're fatter. These ones are real skinny. Um, and I think they make nice flowers too. These are neat little plants. Pencil choya. And guys, this is a this is a neat little beer here. It's rolling rock. And what I mean by that is that this beer is definitely unique and different, has an interesting history. I think a unique kind of following. And it really is an American classic, you know, in a regional sense. It kind of really is, but you gotta ask the question. Is the version that they're making right now? Does that live up to all that history and everything that this beer should have to offer? Does today's version of this beer still compare to what this beer once was? Let's figure that out. Guys, it's Rolling Rock. Extra Pale. Established 1939 Latrobe Brewing Company. This beer originally was made in Pennsylvania. I believe it was in Pennsylvania. And um, it was just a regional, really popular beer. And then I think it kind of went on hard times and it got bought out by InBev. Or Anheuser-Busch. But it's an InBev beer. And I think this is now made in St. Louis, Missouri. Not in Pennsylvania anymore. But supposedly they use the same kind of tanks. They use glass line tanks. And the same yeast or something. So it's supposed to have the same flavor. I think this beer is unique. And what really sets it apart is a little bit of malt flavor that it has. Um, let me get into the review. This is Rolling Rock. How does it smell? Super mild. I mean, almost no aroma. Super mild. Maybe like a very mild bread grain kind of aroma. Very mild. It's almost not even there. Alright guys, Rolling Rock. How does it taste? This beer is very light and smooth and easy to drink. This is, um, I would consider this to be a light beer. I'm not sure what the calories are or how it's marketed, but to me this this is just this is like borderline light beer between a regular lager and a light beer I think this is more like a light beer it's very light a lot of carbonation mild flavor it's kind of watery just really watery mild and easy to drink there's just a little kiss of malt flavor to this beer like sweet bready malts. They're just a little a little bit roasted almost, toasted. Very mild. There's just a little kiss of that malty flavor. Other than that, it tastes like a really light, watery adjunct lager. Very smooth, easy to drink, light. You can taste the adjunct. It tastes like corn. But not a bad little beer I mean it's really light and mild easy to drink a lot of carbonation there's not really much of a hop flavor at all and I think that's the way mainly that this beer is different from what this beer once was I think back in the day when this beer was independent they were known for having a little bit of a hop kick like almost like a um like a uh skunky kind of hop kick just a little bit to this beer it had the green bottles those beers always skunk but it was known for having a little bit of that hop kick and i feel like the malt character used to be stronger than what it is now um, but in today's version of it you know there's really not much hops at all and you get a little taste of malt other than that it's just a light watery highly carbonated adjunct lager I think it comes together pretty well. It's not a bad beer. I would drink this if someone offered me this. It doesn't taste bad. It's very light and watery. And there's a lot of carbonation. 
but it's still really easy to drink. I mean, it just goes down real smooth. I think that's what it is in today's version of it. That's really what it's become. It's just become a beer that's easy to drink, light, easy to drink. Not too much flavor, a little kiss of malt sweetness. Easy to drink, little adjunct lager. And it's not bad. I kind of like it. I don't really seek this out, but every now and then I'll take it. You know, if someone offers it to me, I'll definitely take it. Every now and then I like to taste it. Guys, it's Rolling Rock, an American classic. Enjoy.